I'm Vanessa Guerrero and welcome to After LUTV News, where we will discuss interesting topics in news and pop culture with our panel of University Press and LUTV news reporters. Cheddar, dinero, lettuce, dollar dollar bills, y'all. Incentive programs are in place across the country to get people to take the COVID vaccine. From government entities holding lotteries for prizes to employers offering bonuses, just over half of Texans are vaccinated. Panel, how do you feel these incentives work? Do they work? Lastly, is it unfair to those who were vaccinated earlier not to have a shot at these benefits? Um, well, <laughs> I'll say that um, I think that anything we can do to encourage people to get the vaccine is important and something we should do. It is unfair to people who already got the vaccine ahead of time, who were first in line to get it, who took the initiative to get it as early as possible. And I think that there is an opportunity to still give those people a chance to reward them for, for what they did. We know who got vaccinated. We know when they got vaccinated. I don't see any reason why we couldn't do a lottery for those people as well. Right. Yeah, the lottery system, I don't have a problem with the lottery system. The lottery system, I feel, is it gives everyone an equal shot to the benefits that the government or the state want to give those who get vaccinated. The whole just giving people money after there's so many people who've already got vaccinated, that's where I draw the line of not being fair because it's just like you're excluding the ones who took the initiative at first jump that they could to get vaccinated. Right, and some of these um, lotteries are just so outlandish. Like California, for example, had, I believe they had 10 winners where they could each win 1.5 million each. And then 30, 30 winners that could win, I think it was uh, 250,000. And then like 25 plus winners or something that could win like $25 gift cards, which is just ridiculous to give that much money to someone who could get vaccinated when you could be allocating that money for other things like, um, for example, you could be allocating it towards advertising to kind of X out the hoaxes that people think are, you know, bad from COVID vaccines. Right, just to any kind of COVID relief, really. Like, right. uh, you do see a lot of these outlandish lotteries for millions of dollars. And, you know, you wonder, it's like, well, I. I wish I could have been in the running for that right. and that wasn't an option at the time. And so, like I said, I think either the the plan should have been we do a lottery for everyone or we didn't do it for anyone. People, I, I, I think that these lotteries have increased the amount of people who, who have gotten vaccinated, especially if you're giving like cash incentives, like, mm -hmm. you know, the next five people who walk in get $50 or something, you know, I'm sure that has increased, increased numbers. Mm -hmm. But yeah, it would be nice for people who got vaccinated earlier to get something. Yeah, and then I read the uh, California um, thing, and it's just, like you said, there's so much, that money could have been going to so much things. Like I know Alabama, instead of giving money to those who got vaccinated, they gave money to TikTokers who pretty much did like PR to get vaccinated. Mm. And so they, give, they gave them like, I'm not 100% sure, how much money they but they gave them the money they put the um tiktoks that they had made um they reviewed by actual pr people to see how beneficial they are and then they got money for it right and so uh biden president biden made a statement saying that it might be you know quote unquote unfair to those who got the vaccines earlier on but if this helps um if these incentives help us boost our numbers then you know that's okay with me and uh, he said that and he planned on getting up to 70% of Americans vaccinated by July 4th. That didn't happen. Uh, as of October 5th, there's only 56.5% of the U.S. population that are fully vaccinated. Um, and health experts are just saying that these incentives haven't really boosted, you know, our numbers. They might have helped people who, you know, maybe were on the fence, but there are those people that are adamant they're not getting this vaccine. So. What are some things that you would suggest, you know, governors and health officials to do with this money that they should be allocating towards? Like hospitals that are, you know, facing these surges of patients that are getting COVID. Absolutely, I think, you know, we have reached a point where it's like the people who are gonna get vaccinated, they've gotten vaccinated. And the people who have decided that they're not, they're, they're, they're not. Mm -hmm. um, and a chance to win money isn't necessarily going to change that. So. 
I think, like you said, allocating those resources, I think education is probably the most important thing we could do. And right. whether that using these funds to host town halls where citizens can ask health officials, you know, the questions that they have, I think that would be helpful. Um, things like that. I mean, just ad campaigns even. Yeah, if TikTokers are getting people to go and get mm. vaccinated, then use that. Especially, I think, for younger uh, people who maybe were hesitant or, you know, lazy about getting the vaccine, they just kind of put it off. If that pushes them to go get it, then by all means, put that money towards that. Right. Yeah, I feel like the money should go towards, like you said, advertising and informing um, individuals what the vaccine actually does. There's so many people who are misinformed and there's so many videos and statements about misinformation about the vaccine. So instead of giving individuals who went and got the vaccine like 1.5 million, you could give that money to like some a, an organization to properly host or put on an event to properly inform individuals about the vaccine, what it does, what it doesn't do, the effects, everything, because people they take their information and they just run with it. Mm -hmm. Right. I think so overall, we just agree that this money shouldn't just be given to individuals, it should be given to, you know, government parties or not even government parties, but just like health parties to- At least not like that much money at once. Right, <laughs> right. Um, like I understand the incentives of like $200. Mm -hmm. That's perfectly fine. But California, 1.5 million, that's you printing someone from, let's say, you switch in their tax bracket. For sure. <laughs> right. Yeah. Um, well, thank you guys so much for joining me in this conversation. And thank you for watching LUTV News After TV. Be sure to like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter for more LUTV content. See you next time.